Hi everybody, it's Freya. So today, well, tonight, as you can tell, it's dark, but I gotta get up early, which I never do. <laughs> um, I'm gonna meet my friend Glenn at 7.30, and we are going for the first day of rockfish season. Yay! So our season had ended on December 31st, and now March 1st, which is tomorrow, is going to be um, all the rockfish season open there. Hooray. I'm so excited because, uh, Bill and I got out late to the fishing game because we had to wait for our kayaks to be delivered, um, from Hobie. And so it took some time and we didn't get our kayaks until, uh, actually I missed out on the lobster season opener. And then, um, sheephead season was only, there was only a couple more months because we got ours like in the middle of October. So we really, really love catching the sheep head. They're fun and they taste so good. Um, their sheep, their sheep head meat, it tastes like kind of like cod lobster, nice and sweet. So um, one thing I wanted to do with my series is kind of say, this is, I'm gonna have a sit down and kind of say, this is what we're going for. This is the rigs that, and the lures that I'm trying to make. <laughs> Everybody wants to be on camera today. Um, and then we're going to go out and test things. Um, for instance, uh, there's this one tackle box something uh, that I had gotten these. Actually, I'll play you the screenshot right now that I had taken. And so I had purchased these a while ago. Um, and I tried to use them when I was jetty fishing. And I really wasn't having much success in them at all. But these are those shrimp. And, and they are pretty, you know, they feel really nice. Um, and so sheephead love shrimp. Um, that's the only thing I've ever caught them on. I haven't really tried anything different. But you can train them, you know, to eat like lugworms and that kind of stuff. So anyway, so this is what I've gotten. It comes in... I had bought uh, two packs, one for Bill and one for myself, but it comes in like other colors, like clear, and you got yellow. Um, so anyway, so these are the ones that I have. So when you're, how do you fish for sheephead, right? Um, even though I'm still relatively new, we did have really good success with sheephead um, before the season did close, which makes us that much more excited for sheephead. Um, now uh, for this season because I feel like we're going to be catching a lot and we have a limit. So we're going to be using a sea rig, otherwise known as a Carolina rig. And this rig is great. Um, for sheep head, I use like a size four hook. I know that uh, Bill has used a size one, but like for instance, this one is a half ounce, which depending on the current I might use. And then there's the beads there, your swivel, and then you got you know, a couple of inches to the hook. Um, I'm gonna have to make sure that this isn't gonna be too long because sometimes if it's too long, it'll get caught in the kelp. Um, so I have a whole bunch of them already made and ready to go. <laughs> but you know, you could even make it shorter if you need to. So what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna make a sea rig that I can interchange these shrimp. And I wanna see if these aggressive, hungry sheephead haven't, will in fact eat this shrimp. It's really kind of cool. It has like little um, threads like to make it look like antenna and everything like that. So I'm going to make the rig for this and I will show it to you in the morning. Um, but it's basically just going to be like a regular sea rig. The only difference is that I'm going to use this swivel with a clasp um, just so I can interchange like the different colors and see if there's like a specific color that they like or that they don't like. So that's my goal for tonight and I will see you guys in the morning. I'm really excited about this. I got my beer. My artifacts is such a workers beer. I'm gonna make some rigs 
and we are going to kill it tomorrow. I really, really hope we do well because I just love sheep head and I promised sheep head to my friends and my clients. So, all right, well, that's all we got going on for right now. Um, I can't wait to show you guys these beautiful fish. They're really pretty. Um, in California, they're called sheep head. They have red and black. They transition. They are actually um, like a hermaphrodite kind of uh, where they transition. They're born female. And then the ones that have extra hormones, those ones are the ones that change into male and they get a lot larger. Um, back east, they have sheep's head and they're like black and white kind of with like sh lots of stripes and stuff like that, which I can't wait to go back east and be able to catch those too. But, and I'm super excited because also we got a new car that has a trailer hitch and a roof rack. And so we are going to be able to go into lakes and do a lot more kayak fishing. And I'm so excited that I can even venture out and just go into different areas when I'm able to during the week. So this is gonna open up my YouTube channel to so many more different new experiences while fishing here on the California coast. All right, guys. Well, I will see you guys in the morning, bright and early, and I am so excited to go finally catch some sheep head. All right, good night. See you in the morning. All right, Glenn is already here, so we are going to get up. Oh, there we are. There's my baby right there. We are going to catch a lot of sheep head today. Let's do this. I caught one once and then I took it, I showed it real fast and then I threw it back in because I was like, I don't want to get in trouble for having it uh, not where it's supposed to be. Alright, so we take a little pit stop over here, see if we can catch any kind of sheep head or anything out here. It's really nice because it's a really super slow drift, which is great. So when you're, sh everybody has their own certain way on how they sheep head fish. Um, my way I learned from my friends is that you want to anchor down and just, they're lazy fish. They don't really like to fight too much for their food. So, you know, just kind of anchor down and just wait. Um, some other guys I know, they just, they don't anchor down at all. They just kind of, you know, try to maintain. Um, Bill, he doesn't really anchor down too much either. So, you know, everybody has their own way of doing it. Um, so we're just giving this spot a little try, see what happens, and see if we can catch anything. So, hopefully. There's a lot of structure here, which is great. Turbo, they call one or the other. I can't tell. Hey, I can't either. Like a, I think a turbo. They, I'll just take they, a picture of it and revert back. I have a, I have a, thing in my bag that tells me about all the flatfish. Yeah, this one, I think it's called T, T-R-B-O-T -E or something, I don't know. Huh. He's got like no teeth. <laughs> Almost like a sand dam, but I don't think that's a sand dam. Hmm. Ah, it's in there good. It got him like right on the side. <laughs> I hate when that happens. When I saw it, I was like, wait a minute, that can't be a halibut. Are there, oh, there we go, finally. Ah, he's little. Okay, 
Okay, so we are in the kelp now. And I have to use my paddle because the drive will just get caught. Ah! Um, in the kelp. So my drive is on my lap and we hopefully my rudder doesn't get stuck. I see my rudder is already getting stuck. And we are going to just latch on and see if there's any So it's good to get kind of in the middle of the kelp. And then that's where the fishies feel a little bit safer. better if your fishing poles aren't like all over the place. But so yay, I caught another I caught another flatfish which is new to me. So I caught a I think it's a sand dab. I'm gonna double check when I go home and then I'll write it out and let you guys know what it is officially. But that is gonna be my third flatfish that I have caught in California. So okay. Kelp. And then I'm gonna go over here so that Glenn can have his spot. And I'm gonna go this way. I think. So I attach my leash. I have a paddleboarding leash or a surf leash. And I like, I'll show you. It's attached to the front of my kayak. around but let's see if we can catch some more sheephead. Okay so funny enough I was just we were gonna pull in because neither one of us uh, were getting a bite <laughs> and so I just started pulling in and then all of a sudden I touched to something. Oh sheephead. Hello beauty. Look at that. I love sheephead. They're so great. This is pretty. Pretty. She grabbed on last minute. <laughs> she grabbed on last minute. I just started pulling in and then she bit. Yeah, maybe they're in, now they're seeing that there's bait here. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> She is. Isn't she pretty? She is pretty. Something's playing with me. Oh, I feel it. Ready? And, oh, you know what? This might be a rock for us. I think it took a beat. He was hitting really hard. Like practically nothing. So here's my sea rig. So this is my swivel here. Have the sea rig, and then actually, I use these snells that I get from Walmart. Uh, they seem to be like the perfect little length from the from the swivel to the hook. And I use these snells from these Eagle Claw. Um, these I like these a lot and then I just you know kind of hook them on I ended up losing my hook so I just used the snell but the snells are great because they're quick it's a nice quick replacement for <laughs> when you're uh, wanting to just get that hook back in and you don't feel like making a whole new lure or fixing an attachment piece so I still have to kind of figure 
got my kayak set up on how I want things. <laughs> Let's see if what was hitting is gonna hit again. So it's hitting pretty hard. It's turned into a beautiful day. It is gorgeous out right now. Let's see if we can get it. And it seems to be hitting when I'm not paying attention all too much. So you constantly gotta be on your feet. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, baby. Come on. He's in the kelp. I hate when they do this. I hate when they go in the kelp. Get out of the kelp. Oh my god. No! It's so bad. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Took it. It went right. He took it. It went straight into the kelp. Oh my god, it's been hitting. It's a big one. I think it might be legal because it's hitting really hard. Well, I did, and then when I pulled it in, it just shot right into the kelp. sitting here because it's 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 here <laughs> it's so frustrating ah <laughs> no I know it's so much fun though all right let's see if we can get this guy back yep and he took the bait <laughs> oh this is gonna be moments <laughs> this is gonna be a moment. But like what Glenn said, it definitely is what makes sheephead fishing so much fun because they will steal the bait, they will go into it and hide in the kelp, and you know it's fun to kind of battle them out. And then you know when you get the same one because then <laughs> you can just keep fighting them out. And then when you find it, you finally get them out of the kelp. You're just kind of like yes. there and I know he just keeps going in the kelp so I have to figure out something else but he's right here I'm so close getting him too oh it was so much fun did it be three times a charm or four times a charm literally moments. I turned off the GoPro and then put it right back on because I felt him. I have a feeling he took my bait. Huh? <laughs> no. I lost him twice. I know, but he keeps coming back for more, so I don't know. He's going for punishment. <laughs> I think he took my, I think he took the bait. Yeah. Typically, and I'll tell you about sheephead fishing. Typically, I've learned that if you're not getting any bites, for real, if you're not getting any bites, that means that you don't have bait on your hook. And nine times out of 10, it's exactly why. So I'll always check and then I'll be like, oh, yeah, no. look at that, no bait. And that's exactly what I was thinking. and we were talking and then all of a sudden I was telling him about this big one that's been screwing with me. Oh yeah, he's good. He's good. Where is he? Get the I can't see him. I know. I've been, oh my God, he's beautiful. Woohoo! All right, I'll let you go. <laughs> Glenn's like, you found the magic patch because I've been, oh, he's legal. He's definitely legal. Oh my God, you guys, look at me. This is the one that's been screwing with me. Are you there? Okay. Hey, babe. 
All right, I just like to double check. Sheep head have to be 12 inches. And this bad boy is a full grown, nice little boy. So, um, oh my God, he's barely hooked. So if I've learned anything in the past, it's be prepared because these guys, they like to jump and they like to escape as much as possible. So, wow. There we go. Look at that guy. Yep, 15 and a half. And that is my limit for sheep head this year. So hooray. And here we go. This is our first legal of the season. Many more to come. Hooray! This is so great. Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh, it's stuck. Why do you gotta be stuck? All right, you guys missed sheep heads so bad. We got another one. <laughs> oh, I hate when I hate when they do that. Oh my god. I think this one's definitely smaller. I don't think this one meets my goal. She's tiny. There we go. There's another one. God, I love sheep head season. So this one's probably about 12 inches, which is legal. Um, I'm not gonna keep her. There she is. She's right at 12. I don't typically like them right at 12 just because of the fact that it's, you know, they can grow bigger. But let's take a picture. So you could just see Fishing Game came to check on me as I was um, checking out that 12 inch fish, which she started floating as they were coming over to me. <laughs> Extremely nerve wracking, but they're gonna go check on Glenn. They're just making sure everything's on the up and up just because it is the first day of sheephead season. So they wanna make sure. So I had to show them the fish that I do have on my stringer. And um, so that they were able to confirm that my fish is legal. Um, and then, you know, they were, and then I, I actually did have a couple of, it's kind of awesome that they stopped me just because um, I did have some questions for them about harvesting mussels and all that other kind of stuff. Um, so they answered everything and they were really super nice. So yay. <sighs> it's still a little nerve wracking though because she was literally right at 12 inches and I was trying to put her back as you can see in the video. <laughs> and then she started floating. So I was like, hold on, she's floating. Let me get her back down. And they were like, no problem. So, oh my goodness. It's like getting all pulled over by the cops and you don't know why, but it's just fishing games. So you don't want to, you don't want to make them angry. And he was like, oh, the limit's only five. And I'm like, you don't got to worry about me. I got it all in the up and up. <laughs> wow, that's crazy sauce. Ah, yep, now they're checking on Glenn over there. Poor guy. Oh, here we go. Maybe they're gonna give me some luck. Yeah, baby, come on, come on, come on. See that? I'm talking and I ended up catching. Oh my goodness. Uh, come on. Don't go in the kelp. Don't go in the kelp. Go. <laughs> you went in the kelp. Get out of the kelp. Come on. Uh, maybe fishing game has given me some good luck. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I see it in the kelp. Come on. Oh, you're in there. Oh, yeah, baby. Yes. Another legal. This is definitely the spot. Yay. You guys, look at that as I was talking to you. <laughs> Sweet. Let's just do a quick measure. Just, just right at 14 and a half inch. Um, I'm gonna stick this one in my game bag, just in case if Glenn doesn't have any one. I'm glad I didn't keep that 12 inch one. This one's much better. Baby, yay! I love when they chew the hook. <laughs> ah, come on. There we go. 
ace. Keep getting caught in the kelp. What is this? Ah, she's a baby. She's a baby. Hello, little baby. She's definitely small. S M O. Okay, this one feels little. Yeah, this sounds like Actually, I think it's a rock rast. <laughs> Are you? No, you're not. You're just a little lady sheep. One thing you want to do is pay attention to the sea lions because they are coming around. Yeah, I got... I Yeah, you should come over here. Probably the more bait, the better. Yeah, I got a 15 and a half and then I got a 14 and a half. I was going to give you the, the 14 and a half one if you didn't catch any legal. I was going to share. I don't know where that sea lion went, but they will flip you on your kayak for your bait or for your fish. So that's why I pulled in my fish. And Glenn said that he caught illegal, which is great. So then I'm gonna keep my guys. Ah! I'm scared the crap out of me. I hate when they do that. Uh, he says he's getting bit too, so he's found a good patch also. So yay for us. We are successful so far. What happens is the kelp kind of blocks your bait from going all the way down to the bottom, so you gotta kind of like wiggle it down there. <laughs> I got one! Ah! Yeah, baby. Man, they are hungry. They're like, we miss everybody and their shrimp. <laughs> Where are you? There you are. Ah, I'm catching all the, I'm catching all the little ones. <laughs> all the little guys. <laughs> Very cute. Too small. Nope. Eating my bait. Feel them. Stubborn brats. Little brats. Not small. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Come on. Be a good one. Be a good one. I wonder if he's caught the cow. Oh, I love these waters so much. That, you guys you guys <laughs> nice this one's a good one he's got the little hump and actually the fishing game guy was telling me that what I should do is um, that you could boil the, the, the head and all the meat will pull away and then you can kind of like taxiderm the head and whatnot so that is pretty cool I just like on the B15 and a half because when you're processing them, yeah, see this one is actually 13 and a half, 13 and a half. I think today we're just gonna take what we can, even though I say 15 and a half is my limit. Um, but you know what, I'm also gonna put them in the bag and maybe I'll get bigger ones and then I'll put him back or, you know, kind of play around. But, Yay! They're here! You guys! So just for fun, we are going to play around with this fake shrimp that I was telling you guys about last night because I wanted to see if these work. And I'm 
I'm gonna put this on and we're gonna see if we actually do catch something. <laughs> I'm very interested to see. So I am gonna, I lost my swivel. So we're just gonna play around like this. Five, I like the uni knot. It's the only knot that I use. It's really strong. Ooh, it looks like Glenn might actually have something. Um, I don't know if favorite or not. Yes. Okay, so let's see if this silly lure works. I'm interested to see. Let's see. I'm gonna try to drop it where I don't see any kelp, which maybe might be here. Okay, so I put, I had the shrimp on and nothing was happening and then I put a real shrimp on a sea rig and now I am stuck yet again with kelp. I think they're getting smarter and smarter. Where are you, baby? Um, but yeah, so nothing's happened and this is a very active area with fish. I have not even moved my location. Um, and I do not, nothing happened. Look at you, you're starting to transition. Let's see how much of a big you are. Um, but then I just went back to the shrimp. And so, I don't know, for sheephead fishing, probably not gonna work. I'm not gonna give up on it though. I have a setup for it, so we'll try it. But, um, this one's right at 12, which I would never keep because it's too close. Gave a good fight though. And you're starting to turn into, um, so this one you can see it's starting to get the black stripes, which means this one has the hormone to change into a male. So you will be a male soon enough. All right, I hope this is a keeper. This one hit really hard and then it's running. <laughs> Glenn and I moved spots because the wind picked up and please do me. Oh god. Not only is it legal, but it's hooked onto this huge piece of kelp. There we go. Glenn! See you guys later. Bye.